Hello everybody. I am going to show you some basic tips on how to maintain a cassette hub and what you should do every time you purchase a new cassette hub. So every time you purchase a new cassette hub, the driver comes with a thick packing grease in it. The first thing you should do anytime you purchase a cassette hub, before you ride it, before you do anything with it, before you throw it on, take the driver out, completely degrease it, and regrease it with a fine lubricant. Uh, this is because the packing grease that's used isn't really intended to be ridden with. So the lubricant I use is called TriFlow. Not sure if this focus, I'll get a better shot in a moment. But basically, you degrease the whole hub and then you can regrease it with a finer lubricant. I'm going to show you that. Uh, my driver is getting a little, uh, it's losing some of its greasiness. So I'm going to be taking it apart and showing you guys what I mean. All right, so the only tools that you'll need for this is a socket wrench to get your wheel off. Unless it's already off, then you won't actually need any tools at all. And you'll need a fine lubricant, like the TriFlow I have here. So now I'm going to loosen up my wheel and get the hub apart. All right, so once you've got the bolt loose, you just pop the wheel off, and it's time to get off the driver. Now for me, I've got the Odyssey Antigram hubs, but most hubs are identical to remove the driver. You're just going to unscrew the female axle bolt, you have the bolt and the washer. Set it aside. There's usually one more washer. Mine doesn't happen to have that. And you remove the driver. And now you have access to the paws, springs, and the internals of the hub shell. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get just a paper towel and you're going to clean up the hub. Clean up the hub and clean up the paws and the springs. Okay, so what this is gonna look like is, you're just gonna take a paper towel. You see all the springs, springs there. The anagram hub is just a basic three paw hub. And I'm just gonna clean what little grease is left on it. Now, because I use such a fine lubricant on my driver, I have to do this more often than not. So I do this every few months. All right. And now I can begin to clean this up. And I'm just running the paper towel inside of the hub shell, getting out any of the old grease. So when you first buy a cassette hub, what I mean by thick packing grease is the grease that's in here when you first get a hub, is thick. So your, your, your driver's gonna go around with more resistance. So when you get a finer lubricant, like this TriFlow here, it's gonna give you less resistance. And simultaneously, that'll make your, lub, uh, bleh, your hub louder. So the way I do this is, I just take the TriFlow and I'm just gonna, after shaking it up, I'm just gonna put a layer inside the hub shell. And then the way that I do it is, I just get a good amount inside of the driver too. All right, and that's good. And next, I'm just gonna pop it right back in. And I'm going to take the bolt. And normally when you take a bolt off like this, you can actually just degrease it, whatever grease is on it, and you want to regrease it. But I'm not going to do that today. So I'm just putting that back on. And that's it. So now I just wanted to provide one more tip. Um, anytime you ride a hub, cassette, free coaster, free wheel, cog, whatever, you always want to have the driver lubricated. So you have these metal moving parts. You have the paws going around the, uh, going around the, in the hub shell, 
click, 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 click. Each one of those clicks is a paw passing over a groove. If you don't have adequate lubricant in there, you're going to wear the parts down really rapidly. You're going to ruin your hub. So the takeaway from this is, one, if you just got a new bike, if you just bought a new wheel, if you bought a new wheel three months ago and you haven't done anything with it, you want to take apart your driver and you want to lubricate it. This is about five bucks and you can buy it off Amazon, you can buy it at Walmart, you can buy it from a hardware store. Point number two, if you took your heart hub apart to degrease it, stop riding your bike, go buy some lubricant, go buy pack and grease, go buy anything. Anything is better than riding moving parts that are not lubricated. And point number three, if this video helped you out, click like, click subscribe. Um, I'm planning on doing a lot of videos like this because I feel like on YouTube, there's not a lot of really good information. There's a lot of information, but there's not a lot of really accurate information. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace.